Hello mga tomadachis! Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's vlog is an informational one. The reason why I did this video it's because may mga nagtatanong sa inyo kung paano ako na monetize sa YouTube and also nagsasahod na ba ako? Mahirap ba yung process? Sabi ko sige gawa na lang ako ng vlog about this. So para din makatulong sa mga um, nagbabalak mag-start ng YouTube channel or on the process of monetization or mag-apply ng monetization. So things to know or tips na pwede kong maibigay sa inyo based on sa na experience ko. So before ako na monetize, um, I experienced rejection. So my first application, I was rejected by YouTube due to misleading titles. But before anything else, I want to say thank you to you all for the support and love that you have given to me and to my channel, to us. I'm so grateful and I'm, I'm just blessed that you guys have been there all throughout this YouTube journey of mine. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your love and support. This wouldn't be possible without you guys supporting me and everything. So thank you, thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Agyamanak. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So ano yung mga requirements ni YouTube before mo monetize yung channel mo? 1,000 subscribers and then 4,000 watch hours. So you have to reach those ones and then... Um, the apply button will be activated. <laughs> Tama ba yung term? Activated, yes. So when I reach 1,000 subscribers and the uh, 4,000 watch hours, um, YouTube emailed me this. And so uh, YouTube said you're eligible to apply for monetization. So ano nga ba yung monetization? So monetization, <laughs> ang hirap ipronounce, your channel is going to have ads on them. So, ayun. But before that, you have to be approved by the YouTube Partner Program. So, in short, YPP. After that, I followed the step-by-step -step process on how to apply. The apply button will, ap will appear on your YouTube studio. So, sa mga nag-YouTube or yung mga gumago ng videos, it's best also to download the... Uh, YouTube Studio because you're going to see the progress there kung ilan pa yung subscriber na kailangan mo ilan pa yung watch hour na kailangan mo and then makikita naman dun yung scale uh, yung percentage yung parang time scale kung ilan pa yung bu 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 in mo to be able to be monetized when you click the apply button um, they will review your channel to be able to be approved by the um, YouTube Partner Program. While waiting for that, you can set up your Google AdSense account. So, Google AdSense account should be connected to your YouTube channel. After you follow all the steps that YouTube gave you, so the next step is we just have to wait. It took maybe for me, for my first application, it took one day and I got this email from YouTube after one day and sadly I was rejected for monetization on my channel so why yun so nabanggit ko kanina because of misleading titles ano nga ba yung misleading titles so YouTube has palette pe pe <laughs> YouTube has policies so pag ni-review nila yung channel mo um, they're going to look for things or parang imbistigahan nila talaga. <laughs> Titingnan nila lahat ng videos mo before ka pa ma-approve for monetization. Ang nakita nila is misleading titles kasi wala naman akong reuse content. So reuse content is yung kumuha ka ng videos ng iba tapos in-upload mo sa uh, YouTube channel mo. Uh, so mali yun. If gumawa ka ng ganun and then nag-apply ka ng for monetization, then your channel is not going to be eligible or area reject ka ni YouTube. So, yung sa akin naman is um, misleading titles. Uh, binasa ko yung policies ni YouTube uh, about that. It didn't say which specific video or ano yung specific video na nagkaroon ng violation sa channel ko. 
So I have to guess. Ano kaya? Ano yung video ko na mali? Uh, ano yung nilagay ko na mali? So it was challenging to actually uh, also investigate your channel to check every video that you upload on your YouTube channel. So, ang ginawa ko is binasa ko yung policies ni YouTube. It's best to actually go through the rules and the policies of YouTube before applying for monetization. Uh, para hindi mo ma-experience yung na-experience ko na na-reject ako. It's because I was so excited to apply. So, before I applied, I didn't check my videos. I didn't check uh, my titles, my thumbnails, my descriptions. And lahat, hindi ko siya chinek. Basta I was so excited. Yay, apply na! Mm. Press the button. <laughs> so, no, yan, tuloy nangyari. Nili-check ako ni YouTube. So, after I read all the policies, um, chinek ko yung videos ko. Lahat, pinalitan ko ng cover picture or ng thumbnails. Also, yung titles. Minake sure ko na-connected siya sa videos ko. Yung content ng videos ko. And then, Next is, nilagyan ko ng description na tugma dun sa videos. And um, I'm gonna give you an example para may idea kayo kung paano gawin or paano ba magtugma-tugma lahat. So, yung in-upload ko na How I Met My Japanese Husband, minake sure ko talaga na connected lahat ng information na nilagay ko sa title, sa thumbnail, tapos sa description. Tapos pala, um, advice ko sa mga uh, YouTubers <laughs> or like um, mga nag-upload ng video sa YouTube, um, it's also best na ilagay nyo dun yung mga social media accounts nyo. So, not all naman, pero yung yung ano lang, yung social media account mo na yung makakakonek yung tao sa'yo or pwede silang, di ba, uh, magtanong sa'yo about stuff. Um, like you're building a community, parang ganun ba? So, um, nilagay ko dun yung please follow me or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, uh, my Facebook page. Yes, my Facebook page po ako. <laughs> and dun po ako nag update ng, uh, ng uploads ko. And then, also, dun din sa Facebook ano ko, account ko. And then, also make sure the tags are appropriate. Diba, pwede rin maglagay ng hashtag at the end of the description. Um, and also, meron din kasi before you upload the video, there is um, an option when wherein you can put add tags, sabi. So, add tags, you can add some, ano na to, keywords na pwedeng i, di ba, pag sinerch ng ibang tao yung ganitong topic, agad-agad magpa-pop out or madaling makita yung videos mo. But, uh, you should be careful on adding adding tags because um, iniinvestigahan din niya ni YouTube. Chinecheck din niya um, kung appropriate ba yung mga tags na nilagay mo based on sa content ng video mo. So, after ko inayos yun, uh, nag, uh, sabi ni YouTube, you have one month. Parang one month naka-off yung apply button. Again, so um, you have one month to fix what's the problem on your YouTube channel. Sa videos mo, ganun. You can erase or baguhin yung kung ano man yung problema na sinabi ni YouTube. Um, although, ang masaklap lang is hindi sasabihin ni YouTube kung alin sa mga videos mo yung nag-violate. So, ikaw yung mag guess Ikaw yung mag ano na, ay baka ito, 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 ito. So, yung na-receive ko yung email ni YouTube na you're rejected. I, aaminin ko, I was really sad. Because it's a bad news, right? It's a bad news for my channel. I was discouraged. I was discouraged na gumawa ng videos ulit. Tapos, parang wag na. Ganun. And then, kinausap ko yung closest friends ko. Tapos, yung family members ko. Si Yoshi. And, sabi ko, parang ayoko nang ituloy yung YouTube. And, na, bakit? Ganun. Tapos, naikwento ko sa kanila na, yun, na-reject ako. Ganyan. Tapos, Although, pwede namang mag apply Pero, alam mo yun yung, yung heartache ko na at that moment na parang binagsakan na ako ng halo blocks. <laughs> halo blocks talaga. Ang hirap pala. Ang hirap palang maging YouTuber. So, nung after ko makausap yung closest friends ko and family ko, 
um, I felt much better. Although there is still some sadness, uh, but I I I went back. So I went back to the time when I first uploaded my YouTube video. Philippians chapter 14 verse 3. Um, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. So yeah, stay blessed. Parang nangusap sa akin si Lord na don't give up. Don't give up on your passion even if you um, experience rejection. I think um, my purpose siguro why na reject Eh, yung channel ko. It, maybe it's because I should learn more. So, ayun. So, sabi ko, what's the reason? What's the reason why I even did my YouTube channel? So, I went back to that reason. So, the reason why I did my YouTube channel is to um, share my life here in Japan and also to uh, you know, share some inspiration or information to those people who want to live here in Japan or anything what I experience. Yun yung naman yung talagang purpose na bakit ko ginawa yung YouTube channel ko. So, bumalik ako dun. Nung, nung na-realize ko na, oh nga, no, why will I give up now? Diba? So, meron naman yung reapply. So, I have to wait for one month to be able to reapply. So, inayos ko yung channel ko, ginawa ko lahat nung sinabi ni YouTube dun sa policies niya. And then, um, after a month, the reapply button was activated again. So, ayun, nung before ko, i-click talaga yung reapply button. Chinek ko ulit, dinobble check ko, triple check, fourth check, fifth check. <laughs> Inaubaya ko na kay Lord. Sabi ko, kayo nang bahala, Lord, kung ito para ito talaga para sa akin or kung ma-monetize yung channel ko then it's a good bonus so less than 24 hours youtube emailed me this after i read this email um i was like what? <laughs> so finally sabi ni youtube okay I wanted to share to you mga tomodachis or guys during that time nung na-monetize ako kaso I wanted to make sure pa kung talagang legit. Nagkaroon na lang ads yung yung videos ko um, and then madami din nag-inquire sa inyo kung paano mag-monetize paano ko na-reach yung yung merong ads na and then how much yung sahod so ito talaga meron nagtanong sa akin na how much yung sahod Uy, nagsahod na siya ba, Kenneman? So, <laughs> so, sabi ko, uy, hindi pa akong nagsasahod. Alam nyo ba kung magkano yung nakuha kong revenue nung nagkaroon na ng ads yung um, videos ko? One dollar. <laughs> diba? One dollar pa lang yung revenue ko. So, but it's okay for me kasi hindi naman talaga yun yung main purpose na, diba, na gumagawa tayo ng videos. Although, hindi ko ikakaila. It's nice to be able to get um, something extra income from YouTube. Uh, plus, nagagawa mo yung fa fashion. Nagagawa mo yung passion mo. It's gonna be slow, but I'm enjoying the process. So, I'm trusting the process. Na in time, um, on the way, kahit on the way tayo sa milestone natin, at least nag enjoy tayo, di ba? Um, we are able to share something to other people and that's enough actually that's enough to uh, know you pursue what you like doing um, and all the support that I'm getting from you guys okay so what I learned through this YouTube journey of mine kung meron mang isa dalawa tatlo na nanonood ng videos mo then wow diba at least naka tatlo ka naka tatlo ka ng taong na-inspire or napasaya sa video mo, di ba? That's the most important thing na to remember when you make videos online or you make um, YouTube channel. So that's it, mga tamadachis. I hope I shared something relevant today. Although hindi siya about Japan or my life here in Japan, but it's part of my life. Kasi nga, um, I've been through this rejection and then the process that I've been through na gusto kong i-share sa inyo kasi part kayo. Part kayo ng aking channel. Part kayo nito. And, um, ayun. Gusto ko lang na 
you know, um, i-share din sa inyo kasi yun nga, naging part kayo nitong YouTube channel ko. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, mga tomodachis. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day. Bye! Thank you.